Airborne is Alex back from Red Sign, and we now with Scan uh, from Live Studios. What he's going to do is going to talk through a few things, and uh, he's going to do a little sketch for me. So uh, keep watching, guys. Airborne, we're back, and uh, we were Scan. And once again, I'd like to thank you for your time because I know you're very busy. <laughs> uh, just come back from Singapore, on your way to Japan, and uh, yeah. Very happy you squeezed me in, so thank you very much. Yeah, a little handshake out of that. So um, we're just going to sort of go through the same same questions as uh, can. And uh, what about um, we've already gone through where you've started, uh, but what about yourself? Where where did you how did you get into this hobby, uh, this line of work? Um, starting like uh, around like fifty year back, or like long ago before the internet era. So like. I I kind of like the, the 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 anime manga like I'm dumb like whatever back in that time and then like uh, it, I happened to get into like uh, the card game illustration locally in Thailand so we keep on doing that like and then and then by by that time I only know the card game yeah I keep on working on that for five years wow <laughs> it's like why I started like in the university so that's the only thing I know. There's no internet, no community, no no anything at all. They like, yeah, I, I keep keep on working on that. Sure. Yeah. And just to touch upon that, do you think the internet it is a good thing, obviously, to get your name out more? But do you also think there's a bad side to the internet with more like to be in the public eye more? Or? Um, well, I used to be in the public like frequently mm. back then, like ten years ago. Sure. <laughs> long time ago and then like uh, I would say it, it, it's, it's not it's, it's my personal thing okay it's my personal thing I, I it's not really my thing to get to like a lot of people kind of talk a lot and then like you know instead of like sitting down and doing the actual work yeah that's not me sure so after a while, I get I get to the studio in Singapore and start working, and that I think that's when when I like kind of stop put my my, my work publicly. Okay. Did you want to start sketching or? Okay. okay. I do. What I do is I'll I'll film. So I'll hold, I'll hold the camera up just so that yeah I can see what you're sketching there as you're talking. Um, sure. Are there any sort of uh, personal projects that you would like to to do that you haven't done yet? Any any characters that you really like that you haven't worked on? How to say, like, uh, because because I'm, I'm starting off like a like a big fan of like almost every game, right? I, I try to work for the game. That's what I want to do. Like, you know, I get to work with like Bionics. Get to work with Stanley. Get to do the all the like Marvel characters. What I really want to do. I saw a piece, yeah, but I won't go into, but I saw that and I, I really liked it. I mean, it was a really nice piece. Yeah. It was a shame that they say that it's not being licensed and yeah, they can't be filmed. I was really disappointed about that. Um, moving forward, I mean, are there uh, uh, any other companies you would like to work with? I mean, obviously you work with Marvel, DC. Um, Disney. Yeah, Disney. Quarantine. Yeah. I'm at the point where I, it's not about like how, uh, how can I get to work with like any company. Mm. Get to almost get to the point where like, yeah, I really want to make my thing. Yeah, and made to be the live product. Yeah, and launch it. Yeah, I'm almost at that point now. Well, you, I mean, you almost had some of that with the Batman line because you had your own take on that um, with the Japanese line. I mean. Would there be a opportunity for that to be made into a comic? Possibly, would you like? Would that be something you'd be interested in? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. For anyone who's not seen that, I mean, the uh, the Japanese line is um, is a line that Hive took on for XM Studios, and there's um, there's a, obviously a Japanese theme. So it's um, you've got the the Batman, uh, the Joker's um, more like a a, a, a Yakuza, is one of the Batman. He's, he's more like a uh, 
required to make, make a zero type character. It's more like a triad. Yeah. Yeah. And then like a, a Joker is more like a, you know like a triad. Yeah. And they they have to clash together. Ooh. And you've got so the Bane, which again is like just like a big brain, kind of like a it's like a Habuki. Yeah. Habuki on your mark. Yeah. So it does look really really cool. Um, and what I, I mean, are there any other lines where you're looking into doing a sem similar sort of twist on, or any other any other lines that you would like to do a twist on? Maybe like a Marvel Avengers line with a twist, or a twist like actually the line with a twist. Right, right now I'm doing like Batman with two two twists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like uh, what I would like to try, really want is like Iron Man. Yeah, it's my third of all time. <laughs> and what and what kind of twist would you like to put on that? <coughs> I wanna I wanna bring him like back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then try to like merge him with like some, you know, some uh, traditional art, like yeah. like traditional Japanese art. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I think I think someone tried to do like a steampunk version, didn't they? There's like a steampunk version where he looks like it's all um, kind of like from like 1900s, but like as if that is as if he's from then. Yeah. So they they did one of those once, which was it was pretty cool. Uh, pretty I don't cool. know how well it sold, but yeah. Um, and then also, I mean, yeah, some sort of, yeah, the Ave Avengers line would be very cool to, to do a tweak on. I mean, uh, I'm just trying to think. What are, are there any um, any sort of movie licenses that you would like to use? Movie licenses? Mm. I mean, I see uh, Conan over there. I see Star Wars over there. I see, you know, I see, I see movie posters on the wall. <laughs> I see a lot of anime. Uh, movie licenses. Hmm. Interesting. My most favorite, like, is kind of old, though. Right. It's it's very old movie. Okay. Like, uh, Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, Fifth Element. Yeah. Like, twist on that kind of classic, classic one, like Predator. Yeah, yeah. Terminator. Yeah. That kind of stuff. So it's like it's the stuff that I, I am growing up with. Sure. And then like, uh, kind of made me who I am right now. Well, there's only ever been a few um, Blade Runner props. Never really any Blade Runner statues or or, or toys as such. Exactly. So that would be quite nice. But then isn't Harrison Ford quite difficult to get his likeness? Or that's the tough one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the tough one. Because I saw the um, the Harrison Ford hot toy the other day, the new one, and the likeness is very good. So yeah, it's yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, it really is. What um, I mean, obviously, you do the games, you do the comics, you yeah. do the toys, you do the statues. Obviously, I'm more interested in the statues personally, but what what part of it is interests you more? Which which part of that is more more for you? It's more for me. It's statues. The statues. <laughs> to be honest, statues. Because like in, in the game, in the game, I'm, I'm I'm part, I'm a part of the you know the whole thing. Yeah. I'm just one part of it. I do my best to 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 serve like you know to make make everything move accordingly. Everybody going and then the game is going smooth. That's part of the game. Sure. So, but the statue is like, how do you say? Is like the very cool part of the statue is like I, I don't have to think about like a lot of process. Mm. It's like how many polygons can can be made in this game? Can it fit to the this thing? And then like ah, the the gameplay has to be like this, like that. Yeah. The statue is like. Uh, really big punch just one time one big punch yeah. like wham yeah. and that's it yeah there's no like uh no sort of backstory no warming up it's just straight to the straight to the art piece of art really. yeah but yeah but i mean uh, and what is um i say you've worked on a lot of pieces uh what's your your favorite piece that you've worked on the favorite piece that i worked on uh, up until now Death Drop. Oh yeah. Death Drop. Yeah. I've seen the concepts for that, and I mean, uh, they're on. I th I'm pretty sure they're shared on Facebook. So I mean, what I'll do is I'll try and put the link in here. But it's a very cool concept. I mean, uh, as I say, it's the Japanese concept again. Yeah. Uh, but you've also got the almost. Um, you've got the, the well. That's that's the thing with XM Studios is you have so many options, um, and you can change a piece. I think I was being told that the Batman has um, eight hundred. 
uh, display options with all the different heads, all the different hands, different chest plates. Uh, you could display it 800 different ways, I was told. That was quite better. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, it's like uh, I how do you say I I kind of come coming up with all the options. Mm. I didn't really count though. So I, yeah. I coming up with all the possibility. We we discuss a lot, and then like hey maybe can can do this chest plate, can do this can, can do this like this pose, this yeah. this pop and that one, and with all the different combination, we can coming up with like you know quite a lot of variation. Sure, yeah. and that's always the thing that's very good with the. Um, XM brand is that yeah. other companies will get very limited op limited options, um, and then normally the switch out heads or the switch out hands will be an exclusive. Yeah, um, I think I should have asked this to XM actually, but I do think it's very good about how they they don't do the uh, exclusive option. They used to do the coin, and then they kind of stopped the coin because they thought it was becoming an exclusive. Yeah, um, do you think that? They should do like an exclusive side of it, or uh, the exclusive thing. What like a switch out head? Uh, you know, like when I know, I know they have so many options already, but I know that some there are certain collectors who will only buy exclusive, like the exclusive statue. They will never buy the regular statue. It has to be the exclusive, and I don't know if it's like uh, some kind of completeness thing or like an, not really elitist, but. Um, Certain collectors, yeah, they'll only buy an exclusive statue. Okay. When they buy a sideshow statue, it will always be the exclusive version of that statue. You know, no. <laughs> but I'm just saying, with XM, as there's no uh, exclusives, it's like, okay, well, well, you buy the statue. Okay. So, the reason for that is like uh, we we have exclusive sales. Mm. Like I just want to meet the event, and that's it. I, I used to have this idea too, like I discussed with uh, Sane about yeah. like, uh, hey, can we have like exclusive part, like you have to get this, you get that, like he said to me only one word, like everybody who buy XM are exclusive. Yeah. Everybody who get the piece in his hand are special. Yeah. So we, he's like, yeah, that's the best I could. I but guess, yeah. Yeah, it's like he, he's not holding back. Sure. <laughs> I guess with uh, other companies, they'll do a much bigger run of just the exclusive. Yeah. And then they'll double that again for the sort of regular version, which, yeah, if, if you work it out, there could be, I think, like, for example, the sideshow um, Batman, I think, had 9,000 or something, something like that. And they had a really, really high run. Yeah. And you do um, you do quite a lot of um, well around here there's a, there's a lot of sort of more uh, mechanical characters as well as the human form. What what do you prefer working on? Um, what I prefer is like it's more of the, the organic mechanical mechanical or combining the two. Combining like a biomechanical like yeah uh, biomechanical yeah so like with. Um, you know, H.R. Geiger style and, uh, or uh, more like, um, I'm just trying to think, uh, Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell, better. Yeah. Yeah. It's more like that. I, I kind of like, I feel a little bit stiff when they do like, uh, the, like, you know, the machine, machine thing. I feel like, ah, okay. But like, if it moves like a muscle, okay, I can play mm. a little bit of that, can make a flow, can make a movement, yeah. can make it, it feel. Because that's like with um, certain sort of uh, characters, like maybe Gundam or something like that. Yeah. You could you could, you have the opportunity to do a lot more switch outs because, you know, the muscles there's there's no muscles so that if an arm is in the air, the chest won't be doing a certain thing. If you're doing a person, you're very limited by you know the other poses you can put in place because yeah. you know the other muscles are all. They have the anatomy, yeah. like proportion, that like a restriction. Mm. But then if you like, if you go for like a full mechanical, they have they have to deal with like a lot of like you know engineering and stuff. Yeah. But the stuff like how you say, I I, I wouldn't say he, he he did it like uh you know randomly, something like uh what King Kawa did with the uh, Cyber Ninja. Mm. It's mechanical, but they got like some you know. Yeah. Natural into it, like it merged perfectly. 
And that piece, that design was so important to me. It was like, holy cow, like they can merge these two products perfectly in yeah. Thailand and simplify it out. Like, my even, God. Even like the character in sort of One Punch Man as well. Was it Genos? Genos, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's quite, quite cool like that as well. Yeah. What, what they kind of like about these kind of like mechanical is like they, they have like, they have so much freedom. Yeah. To create, to draw, to, to make expression, to, to make like communication with the feelings and everything. Yeah, that's no limitation if you got. You mm. can draw anything and make some sense out of it. Yeah. And can communicate in like what I really want to show. Yeah. There's also, I mean, one of my other, I just remembered actually, which I shouldn't have not remembered, is um, MacGyver is one of my favorite characters. Oh, it's crazy. I grew up with a lot of, uh, a lot of manga like that. Um, sort of Vampire Hunter D, uh, Ninja Scroll. Ninja uh, Scroll? Yeah. Very good. Would, uh, that would be quite a cool license for um, someone like XM to take on. Um, Akira? Akira, yeah, so the most obvious one. Yeah. Uh, Golgo the Professional. Go go, so um, cool. I'm quite surprised they've got a live action movie of that. It might be like a bad, you know, Asian one because um, there was a really bad um, uh, Wicked City um, film, which was really <laughs> terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, Wicked City was very good. Monster City. Um, trying to see, I saw so many of them as a kid. Do you, how did you get into art then? I mean, uh, did you did you start off reading comics and then sketching the comics? Or how, how did you get into uh, to drawing? It's, it's pretty simple. I read it, I like it, I draw it. Okay. And I keep keep on doing that, like every day when I, when I was a a kid. So, yeah, from from hobby start to be the passion, and then I try to find out, find out, figuring out like how to like how to how to do this kind of like work. As a as a career, yeah, and back then it's pretty tough work. Sure, and then also then from going on to drawing, did you um, did you do traditional sculpture? Yep, I did that. I do like traditional painting, traditional drawing, sculpting. Yeah, I learned I learned all from like uh, analog, mm. and then I just shift to like digital later. And um, now, the industry is pretty much. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a high percentage of uh, digital now. I mean, um, do you think, um, I mean, do you prefer digital or do you prefer traditional? As for work, yeah, digital is easy. Mm. It's like easy on both sides, from the client side, from our side. It's easy to do, easy to fix, easy to send off. It's pretty cool. But like personally, I like uh, analog. Yeah. It's like, how to say it's like you, you, you play a game with the controller or you yeah. play a game on an iPad that's a different feeling yeah I, I like the touch I like the feel I like the smell <laughs> <laughs> I like the grease on on the yeah, yeah. shirt that kind of thing <laughs> <laughs> and do you feel that um, with the digital you can capture everything you can in traditional almost hmm. almost it's getting better yeah I mean um, for example, the um, the convention this year, um, just by seeing like um, the things that the companies are now putting out. I mean, when you look back over the pieces that people say these are the pieces you must own, and these are the grail pieces. When you now look at the newer pieces, the newer pieces, arguably, I mean, it's all subjective, but the newer pieces look a lot better, a lot more detailed, a lot more. A lot more to them. Um, some of the classic pieces, you know, they're 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 good, um, and they some of them. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm getting at here, but I don't know. I just think some of the newer pieces just seem to have more presence to them. For me, it's a different aspect. Yeah, so different. Like right right now, with the three D printing, with the like technology, all the everything, you can make a crazy detail. Mm. Like, Fabric so real, the the metals or the texture and all the crazy stuff in yeah. there. But it's a different thing from like the you you made a sculpting so rough, but the feeling is there. Yeah. That that thing still hold up like like uh, the the sculpting from like Takeya. Mm. Oh my god, you made it so fast. Like, 
everything is there. Yeah. All the feeling or the mood, the punch is there. Yeah. That's all that matters to me. Yeah. Yeah. And what is your favorite piece? Your so sta- favorite statue? Uh, yeah, not that you've not that you've made. Not that I made. That yeah. I want. Yeah. What's the piece that you didn't make, but you would like to have it on your resume? I didn't make. But I have it on the resume. Mostly the Takeda piece. Yeah. Yeah. Growing up with that. Growing up with him. Any piece of him in particular? Or? In particular? Like, how I would say? I, I'm always like, look at Takeya piece as a series of work. Mm. Like the, the Fisherman series yeah. that he got from his own dad. Like, you know, with all the stories. Like, yeah. I, 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 I didn't remember as a single piece. I remember as a series. Yeah. And when I see the real thing, it's like, God, I, I, I almost cry, you know. <laughs> I go to exhibition, like in Japan, like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the kind of impact you want from, from the art. Hmm? That's the impact you want from the art. Yeah. Is to have that, that emotion and that, you know, to spark those kind of feelings. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. And um, do you feel that working on the sort of comic book characters that they, they that, that can achieve that that kind of feeling it's you like like it depends on the piece yeah i need to try to find like uh, how do you say when when i when i start like sketching like any character that i uh, get assigned it's like i'm an actor yeah maybe i know this guy maybe i don't know this guy i have to read the script get to know this guy what he did what he's doing, what he's feeling. I mean, it sometimes it looks like uh, some crazy person. Like, oh, okay, this is gonna be, mm, it's gonna be like, mm. gotta be the character. Yeah, gotta be the character. <laughs> it's like, it's the same thing. Yeah. I'm an actor, but the act, I'm, I'm not the actor myself. The, the guy that I'm gonna draw is an actor. Yeah. I need to know how he's gonna act. And then I act it out. Yeah. With the drawing. Mm. So he's, acting like a wolverine right now yeah what he gonna do when he's in that situation what he's gonna feel how he's gonna soaring out and do the thing like you know so i need to get like i need to build it up sure yeah actually almost every time that's quite that's uh, quite an interesting way to look at i mean i've not i've not heard anyone anyone else say that so it's quite interesting to hear that that it's to compare it to an actor is quite yeah. yeah, quite different. Really. <laughs> um, do you um, do you find it easier to um, to work on something that you you do have an attachment to or that you don't? So if, if a client comes to you, so you already have this image of that character, do you find it easier to work on them if they come to you mm-hmm. and you don't? Depends. Sometimes knowing too much is not good too. Yeah. Like, I have a lot of attachment to this guy, so it's like, uh, no, it has to be this way. But, mm, yeah. It's got a lot of pressure. It's just so much information, I can't single it out. Yeah. Sometimes when I do some, some character that I don't know at all, okay, it's this guy. I never heard of him before. Mm. Okay, I start to like, read the comic, get to know him, like, okay, he's going to be like that, like this. I don't have like that the whole memory like yeah. to like you know restrict me sure it's more freedom for me yeah yeah no it's good yeah because i because also a lot of people would say that it's the opposite that they would like to be the ones that they know about but if you're making that for a client it's hard then as you said to uh to push all that out that you know to make what they want as in they could their their image of that yeah, it's like one more thing about that. It's like uh, you o- you already have the existing image mm. in your head. You know, like it's already exists that like this guy gonna be standing like that. Yeah, existing everywhere, and then you can't think of a new thing. Mm. But if you don't really know that guy that much, like okay, he's gonna be probably doing this. Like <laughs> you're gonna put a surprise. Like yeah, 
oh wow, they can do that too. Yeah. You know. Good. Well, that's the thing with a lot of these kind of XM. I spoke to XM quite quite a lot over the time I was in Singapore, and uh, they were, they were really good with the way that they made a lot of the time. I mean, obviously not the two now because Megan Wheatley and Batman are very popular, but. Um, when you look at characters like um, uh, the Wizard, uh, Craven, Electro, um, maybe not so much Electro, but definitely Lizard, like they're, they're kind of B list characters where people, because they've got such uh, restrictions with the space, they probably wouldn't buy a Lizard piece. But then when they see the XM one, they're like, XM have a way of bringing out a piece that collectors you know didn't want that character but now they do you know and uh, i think that's a really good obviously business wise <laughs> uh, good skill to have i mean they were the pieces that surprised me the most is um on the xm thing um the lizard the electro and obviously the sentinel diorama yeah so the sentinel diorama's got that wow factor to it yeah. um same issue of if I bought it, I would have no clue where to put it. You'd need like uh, a, a space the size of this, space. well, the size of this conference table, probably. Yeah, um, a huge space. What What was the piece of the show that you you liked the most? What the piece of the show that I liked the most? Yeah. In this show, it's like the the one that really surprised me is Iron Man. Yeah. The classic one. Yeah. That one. Cow, like uh, they, they they take it from like my 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 starting point, and then they mm. elevate it. Like it's incredible. It is very nice. I mean, uh, that was a funny story, really. Where with the Iron Man, um, my friend who was with me in Singapore, he he came the day later, and um, basically I went to the XM the night before. I spoke to XM, and I saw the um, the Iron Man, the classic Iron Man. He always told me that he needs to cut back on the pieces he's buying. Uh, he said he wasn't going to buy the Iron Man, but he buys most Iron Man pieces. And uh, I asked him why, and he said, it looks like he's wearing pajamas. It looks like this. The pose is <laughs> awkward. I don't like the face. I don't like the... And it was just like, okay, well, I just want to say to you, I saw it today, and I guarantee you're going to buy it. And he was like, no, I'm not going to buy it. You know, I... I have enough Iron Man and I don't like him. Blah, blah, blah. And he came, we went to the XM studio the very next day and uh, at the convention he ordered two. So he ordered two to pose, one with a helmet and one without. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was, that was like a, quite a good little story because he, he was convinced in himself that that's where he was going to start saving his money and that was his piece that he wasn't going to buy. But then when he saw it, he was like, oh, damn it. I have to <laughs> buy that now. <laughs> yeah. And then like, some sometime like actually so many times that like uh, when I, when I start a concept and then it go to the to the development the the prototype development yeah we we have we always have like constant feedback back and forth yeah that like hey the feeling is there is it here or there or not like like last time when they showed the prototype uh, not really <laughs> <laughs> and then we do like back and back and forth a little bit more are they i mean i know um ben brian and uh, they're all sorry uh ben brian sang they're all very good with uh communication and uh has there been no times where any piece where you've given your concept and uh it's been changed quite a lot and you think it, they should have stuck to your concept not me no not not, not me I'll, I'll ask you again off camera um <laughs> no it's like if you can be on yep. so like uh when i did something and then like uh the 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 real thing came up it's totally different from the concept it, it doesn't matter if it's wow is wow mm. i was like oh my god like the, the i mean like the the sculptor like holy shit you surprised me too wow i need to learn that too instead of like frustration i was like enlightened like, wow, there's this angle I never think of before. This is awesome. It's amazing. Like, wow, like look at that thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 my mindset. 
No, but I mean, that, that was the thing as well, is when we went out, uh, we met quite a lot of people, and it was really good to see how uh, even the artists were all communicating with each other, and um, some of the artists, um, when we went out to lunch, they were talking about the uh, improvements they were going to do on um, the Sentinel Railway, for example. Yeah. And it was just good to hear them, you know, the way that they were talking with each other. It was like, you know, they were good friends, and... You know, it was like, oh, <laughs> if you do this piece, I'll do that piece. Is that okay? And, you know, I'll tweak that and you tweak this. And it was really nice to hear it that way, you know, that, that they had that kind of communication. And as I say, with the um, FM guys as well, they were just uh, really open with everything. I mean, they, they told us a lot of stuff. They, I mean, they went through uh, a lot of stuff with us on camera, a lot of stuff with us off camera. Um, they told us some pretty interesting things. I mean... It was just cool to uh, to meet everyone, um, but yeah, with the um, advance in um, social media, um, obviously that must be good for business because you must get <laughs> uh, a lot of images shared. Um, yeah. Does it frustrate you though when someone will come to the convention um, and take pictures which are very you know close up with the flash on, and it makes the, the piece look bad, and then that can start kind of rumours. Of uh, how how bad it is, or do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I got it. Um, about that kind of issue, it's like I I don't really like. How you say? It's an it's an external kind of factor when when everything happens on the internet. Mm. And if I put my mind too much on that, yeah, it's getting bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting insane. Uh, I. What I can't do is like this is this is what I can't do anything about. Mm. Then like, there's no point like worry about that. What I can take care and think about it is like, dude, this stuff is not there yet. Hey, Feng, can we change it? This is what I can do. Yeah, that's the whole thing that I care. I see it in front of me. If I can change it and make it better, I made it better. That's all I care about. Yeah. <laughs> And then when I see like uh, some stuff coming up online, it's like, oh, okay, I take it. Mm, maybe that's the point. Okay, cool. We fix it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cause I, I may be guilty of some of that as well. I mean, I may be guilty of seeing an image and being a bit, wow, that looks terrible. Um, but then again, I mean, when you when you watched all the reviews and you watched all the changes, sometimes we, we always say that, that um, pictures and videos are, they, they don't show you very much. Um, it's a 2D image yeah. it's a 2d representation of a 3d uh, piece of art and when you then see it in person uh you can see why this piece is shining because that's the way the light is going to hit this you can see that you know that's the shadow there and and uh you, you can't capture that in pictures unless you're very good at taking pictures and for me, unfortunately i'm not that good at taking pictures i'm not very good at videoing so i can't i can't capture that as much yeah Don't ask me what I'm drawing. <laughs> I'm not thinking. I was about to ask you what you're drawing. Yeah. But guess what? Not I'm thinking. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really thinking that much when I draw. Yeah. Yeah. Just thinking. What I'll do is I'll take out, I mean, I'll show you the images of the drawing <laughs> and I'll kind of use it to cut between them and I'll, I'll ask other questions and then I'll put the questions together. Yeah. So it may not be in order, but yeah, it'll be. <laughs> Because like the only time I think when I draw is when I design the, the you know the stuff for the games and stuff. Mm. I think a lot. Yeah. But like yeah, with this kind of like more like personal pieces, I don't think I'm playing. I'm playing. Oh, I can see playing. I can see now. So that's kind of like the spine. Like the spine. And then that's that's the arc. That's the Everything shoulder. Just open up. The head. Okay, I can see it now. <laughs> And this, um, so it's just something you've just come up in town. Yeah. Cool. All right. You finished or? No? Oh, just for the finish. Got to sign, right? Let me get a good close up of the signature. Yeah. There it is. Cool. Cool. 
So, um, so thank you very much. I'll stop that there. So yeah, so uh, thank you very much for your time, and uh, it's been a pleasure. And it's been great to meet you guys, and thank you for squeezing me in in your busy schedule. <laughs> so uh, it's been an honour. Thank you very much. <laughs>